What is up guys, my name is Prenta and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect margarita. Now before you do, there are three really important questions you need to go through before you make the perfect margarita. Number one is what kind of tequila are you going to use? Uh, a silver tequila is fine, which I'm using today. Um, then you can go to a Resperado. Now a Resperado is a tequila that's been aged for at least three months. And then an Anejo is a tequila that's been aged for at least a year. Never, ever, ever use a golden tequila. Gold tequilas are basically silver tequilas with shit chucked in them to make them look gold like an Anejo or Resperado as if they've been aged. They taste like shit. You only do them if you're doing shots. Okay, so the second thing you need to ask is whether they want it straight up or on the rocks. Personally, I prefer on the rocks, so that's what I'm going to be making today. And the third question you need to ask is whether they want salt on the rim or not. I'm going to be putting salt on the rim today because I like salt on my margaritas. However, if you forget to ask them this question, it's not the end of the world. What you can do is what I do sometimes and just put salt on half the rim and that way they've got the option. Okay, what you'll need for making the perfect margarita is some agave syrup. This is basically the plant that uh, tequila is made from, so this is obviously just a sugar syrup version of that. You want some orange liqueur. I'm using Grand Marnier. I wouldn't use sort of cheap triple sec. I'd use Grand Marnier, Cointreau, something along the high branded side. You want to obviously use a good quality tequila whichever version you, we've already talked about. As I said, I'm using silver tequila. You want lime, the fresher the better. I'd recommend just going out and buying some limes and doing it fresh. And also salt is optional. Okay, so we're gonna start with the messiest part first, and that is the agave syrup. So we're gonna have 12 and a half mils of agave syrup into our mixing glass. Now the reason we start with this is because obviously there's still some left in the, the measure, but we can get easy get rid of that by adding two full shots of our tequila of choice. There we go, one, two, so that's 50 mils in there. Next, we're gonna add our orange liqueur. It's 25 mils of that in there. There we go. You also wanna add 25 mils of lime juice in there. So obviously, as I said, fresher the better. I recommend just squeezing a fresh lime in there. There we go, that's about half. And another half. There you go, that's about a full shot in there. Okay, everything into our tin. You wanna make sure you secure it with a nice hard tap and then give this a nice long hard shake. You've got syrup in it, so you want to make sure it mix as well. Okay, so next you want to salt your rim. If you are salting the rim, the easiest way to do that is get some rock salt and just put it onto a plate, a bowl, anything. You want to get a nice big pile on there. And you want to get a nice bit of lime and just rub it around the edge of your rim. Only the outside, you don't need to get it on the inside, just on the outside. There we go. And then with your pile, you just want to dab your glass in the salt. There we go. Okay, so there we are, we have a beautiful salted rim. We're then going to obviously add our ice into the glass. And then strain this in. There we go. If we are straining it straight up, or if we are having it straight up, obviously you're going to double strain it. And I always like to finish this with a nice line wheel. I would put it in the drink. I wouldn't sit it on the edge. It just spoils the look of it. And there we have it, the perfect margarita. Okay, so here we go, the most important part, which is the taste. Mmm. That is beautiful. With the salt, I love it. Brings so much more flavor and depth to the Grand Marnier. Obviously, the tequila shines right through. Obviously, the higher grade, the better, more expensive, high shelf tequila you use. Um, the better the drink will taste, but still, a basic margarita tastes just as good. Anyway guys, hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, feel free to smash the like button much and greatly appreciate it. Make sure you let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more of this sort of thing, whether it be your favourite cocktail, if it's a Cosmopolitan, a Mojito, Manhattan, that sort of thing. Make sure you go check me out on Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. Links to them will be in the description. Other than that guys, though, until next time, I've been the Prentai, and I'll see you all soon. Time to get drunk. Mmm. Fucking gorgeous.